Today we are going to do the problems based on mean and range. The first question. If the height of the five persons are 144 cm, 152, 151 cm, 158, 155 centimeter respectively. Find the mean height. So here how many observations are given? Five observations. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right? Five persons means five observations. So we have to find about the mean height only. Find the mean height. Mean height means... Arithmetic mean of this, we can say that arithmetic mean, mean or x bar, right? So, sum of the observations, that means 144 plus 152 plus 151 plus 158 plus 155 divided by 5. So, we have to add everything, then what is the sum we are going to get into 760? divided by 5 so it is equal to 152 centimeter this is the mean height so if you want you can write the formula also x bar equal to sum of all the observations by number of observations so this is the step we have to do so for finding arithmetic mean sum of the observations 144 152 151 158 and 155 divided by 5 it is equal to 152 centimeter Next, find the arithmetic mean of first six natural numbers. What are the six natural numbers? We'll write six natural numbers equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, arithmetic mean, I am writing in short form only. Arithmetic mean x bar equal to hmm, sum of all the observation. divided by total number of observations what is that 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 divided by 6 what is the sum 21 it is equal to 7 by 2 again 3.5 so, this is the arithmetic mean of first six natural numbers. The heights of 10 girls were measured in centimeter and the result as follows. 135, 150, 139, 128, 151, 132, 146, 149, 143, 141. What is the height of the tallest girl? So, among the observations we should check which is the high, uh, high, uh, tallest means uh, 135, 150, 139, 128, 151. So, 151 is maximum here. See that remaining data 132, 146, 149, 143, 141. So, among all these data, what is the highest value? 151. So, the first answer solution 151 centimeter right 151 centimeter is the maximum value so what is the uh, answer we have to write 151 centimeter equal to maximum value that is uh, therefore height to the tallest girl equal to 151 centimeter what is the second question what is the range of the data so the second question range equal to we should write the formula maximum value minus minimum value So, which is the maximum value? 151, right? So, we are writing 151. Which is the minimum value? 135 is there, 39, 128. Now, see 128 is the least or not? Now, 132 is there, 141 is there. So, 128 is the least. 151 minus 128, it is equal to 23 centimeter. What is the third question now? What is the mean height? So, mean equal to x bar equal to sum of the observation by number of observations. Sum of the observations means what we should do? 135 plus 150 plus 139 plus uh, 128 plus 151, 132 plus 146 plus 149 plus uh, 143 
plus 141 just check 135 150 139 128 151 132 146 149 143 by 140 plus 141 now how many observations are there 10 girls so divide by 10 now what is the total sum means you will get 1414 only divided by 10 so what is the answer 141.4 centimeter what is the value 141.4 centimeter that is the mean now the question is how many girls have heights more than mean height so mean height we got what is the mean height 141.4 more than this how many girls are having the height that is the question number four so number of girls having heights more than mean more than mean height so which is the mean height so the value should be uh, it should be greater than 141.4 so 135 it's not possible 150 it is possible 139 not possible 128 not possible again 151 is possible 132 not possible 146 is possible 149 is possible 143 is possible but it is 141 only but ours is 141.4 so how many are there 1 2 3 4 5 so 5 girls number of girls means how many it is five girls so five girls are having the height more than mean height so this is the data based on this we are going the analyze and we are giving the answers for this questions so we got the tallest girl height is 151 range equal to the difference between the maximum and the minimum so 151 minus 128 that is 23 mean equal to sum of the observation by total number of the observations we are adding all the observation that is 1414 divided by by 10 because number of observation is 10 so answer is 141.4 now number of girls having height more than mean height means only we are having five girls are having the height more than mean height if the mean of 6 8 5 x and 4 is 7 find x here five observation is there one is unknown that is x value is represented there we have to find what is this x so solution mean equal to sum of all observations divided by total number of observations so this time mean is given mean is 7 so 7 here 6 plus 8 plus 5 plus x plus 4 divided by number how many are there 5 this 5 I am bringing to this side 7 into 5 equal to 6 plus 8 plus 5 plus 4 we are adding so it is equal to 23 plus x right x we cannot do anything so we should write like this so 35 equal to 23 plus x what is the sign of x plus only so we are keeping this side now I am bringing to this side 23 so plus 23 I am bringing to this side it will be minus 23 35 minus 23 it is equal to 12 so x equal to 12 so therefore x equal to 12 is the answer so this question mean 6 8 5 x and 4 is 7 mean is given this time we have to find the observation same formula only mean equal to sum of all observations by number of observations so mean value we are substituting and sum of all observation including x we are adding there and divide by 5 since x is an unknown then other than x all the numbers are added that is 23 so 23 plus x equal to 35 now since x is plus here without making further confusion i'm keeping x on one side and 23 i'm taking to this side so plus we are bringing to another side means it will be minus so 35 minus 23 it is equal to 12 so therefore x equal to 12 mean of 16 numbers is 8 if 2 is added to every number what will be the new mean what is the mean of 16 numbers it is 8 what is the new concept new part of the question means 2 is added to every number see this is a different type of the question only so solution so we are assuming that 16 numbers are there so we are taking x1 x2 x3 x etra x16 are the 16 numbers 
right what is the mean is given and also it is given in the question mean equal to 8 now 8 equal to right x1 plus x2 plus x etra plus x16 divided by 16 right now what is the um, part of the question is 2 is added to every number for finding this what we should do means we should write that 16 into 8 we should bring so 16 into 8 equal to x1 plus x2 plus x etra plus x16 that means what is the answer 128 so we have calculated what is the sum of all 16 observation what is the sum of all 16 observation it is equal to 128 it is equal to equation 1 right now now new condition <coughs> Now, what is the new step? Uh, we have to add uh, two numbers. So, new numbers are or new observations are x1 plus 2, x2 plus 2, comma, x16 plus 2. Each, each observation we are adding 2 only. Now, the present condition, what is the new mean? How to write that new mean means x1 plus 2 plus x2 plus 2 plus x etra plus x16 plus 2 divided by 16 only. Now I am arranging the numbers x1, x2, x16 together. How many times sir, 2 is coming? 2 into 16. 16, ke saath, 16 numbers is also having 2. So 2 into 16. Now, what is the sum we have calculated from 1? It is 128 plus 32 divided by 16. What is the sum now? 160 divided by 16. So, what is the answer? It is equal to 10. Therefore, the new mean equal to 10. Right? So, we have calculated x1 plus x2 plus x etra plus x16, 128. That 128 we are substituting here, right? x1 plus x2 plus x16 is replaced with this 128. Now, already 16 into 2 is there. That is 32 equal to 160. Now, we are adding 160. We will be get 160 divided by 16. The answer is 10. So, previous mean was 8. Now, the new mean is 10. So, there is a shortcut is there. You can understand that one. Means the mean of the 16 numbers is 8. 2 is added. Then that 2 should be added to 8 only. So, the final answer is 10. This cannot be used directly by your level. Because uh, later you maybe you can use it in MCQ pattern, Olympiad questions like this. So, the same question if I am repeating. The mean of the 6 numbers is 18. 2 is subtracted. Instead of add, this came as subtracted. So, your mean will be decreased by 2. That is here now is 8. 8 minus 2. Your That time your mean will be 6. Understood? I repeat the question the mean of 16 numbers is 8 2 is added to every number what will be the new mean what happened to the new mean old mean is 8 right present condition new mean is 10 understood the same question I am telling in a different way what is the way the mean of 16 numbers is 8 if 2 is subtracted to every number from the every number what will be the new mean so that time the mean is reduced by 2 understood if you are adding multiplying or according to that your new mean will change if addition means you will be added by 2 if subtractions means you will be subtracted by 2 uh, and the multiplication means will be doubled by 2 if the mean of 5 observations x x plus 2 x plus 4 x plus 6 x plus 8 is 11 find the mean of first three observations so find the mean of first three observation asked before that the mean of five observation is given so that step we will do first mean of five observation is 11 so mean we will write 11 and which are the five observations x plus x plus 2 plus x plus 4 plus x plus 6 plus x plus 8 divided by 5. Now, how many x is there? 1, 2, 
3, 4, 5. So it will be 5x plus 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8. What is the sum? 12 plus 2 plus 4, 6, 6 plus 6, 12 plus 8, 20 divided by 5 equal to 11 only. Now this 5 we are bringing to this side. So 11 into 5. So 5x plus 20. Now 11 into 5 is 55 plus 20 I am bringing to this side. So minus 20 equal to 5x. So what is 55 minus 20? It is 35 equal to 5x. So what is x now? 35 by 5. What is that? Uh, 7. So we have uh, only calculated what is x in the first part. x, x plus 2, x plus 4, x plus 6, x plus 8 is 11. So we got x equal to 7 now. Now what is the observation? If x is 7, x equal to 7, then what are the observations now? The observations are 7. 7 plus 2, 9, 7 plus 4, 11, 7 plus 6, 13, 7 plus 8, 15. Now what is the second part? First three observations mean. So mean of first three observations. Again formula I am not repeating. I am just writing the numbers. What is the numbers? 7 plus 9 plus 11. 11 divided by 3. 11 plus 9 is 20. 27 by 3, right? What is 27 by 3? It is equal to 9. So, this is the answer. Mean of first three observations equal to 9. So, we have calculated x. Then we are finding the three observations value as 9. I repeat, the mean of 5 observation is 11. Which are the 5 observations? x, x plus 2, x plus 4, x plus 6, x plus 8. So we have substituted as a 5, x plus x plus 2, x plus 4, x plus 6, x plus 8 divided by 5. What is the mean is given? 11. So using this, we are finding the value of x. So since 5x are there, 5x plus 20. 20 how we are getting 2 plus 4 6 6 plus 6 12 plus 8 20 so 5x plus 20 divided by 5 equal to 11 now this 5 i'm bringing to this side so 11 into 5 that is 55 plus 20 i'm bringing to this side so minus 20 so the result is 35 now we got 5x is 35 so what is x uh, x equal to 7 so what is the next step x equal to 7 what are the observations 7 9 11 13 15 from this, we have to calculate the second part of the question means the mean of the three observations equal to 7 plus 9 plus 11 divided by 3. That is equal to 27 by 3 equal to 9. The mean of 40 observations was 160. It was detected that on rechecking, the value of 165 was wrongly copied as 125 for the computation of mean. That is, what is the meaning of this one? Value of 165 was wrongly copied as 125. That instead of 165, the observation was written as 125 and calculated the mean. Find the correct mean is the question. So what we should do means so such type of the question means we'll write the formula first mean equal to sum of of all observations divided by number of observations right what is the mean 160 and sum of all observations we don't know right it means uh, only one number we know that one observation only we know other than that we don't know anything divided by number of observation is 40 so 160 into 40 equal to sum of all observations right we are calculating that is 6400 is the sum of all observations we have to calculate the sum of observation. This is the first step. Now, this is the incorrect sum, right? So, incorrect sum of the observation is 160 into 4. So, this is incorrect method. That is, something is wrong here. Which is wrong here? 165 to be copied as 125. Now, from this, for correction, what we should do? We should, correcting sum, correct sum, we have to calculate means 
correct sum means 1 uh, sorry 6400 from the 125 is only they have done so that 125 we are making a subtraction 125 is deleted now now what we should do we should add the actual observation what is that actual observations it is 165 that means 6400 plus 40 so it is 6440 right what we have done which is wrong one that is subtracted which is the wrong one 125 wrongly copied as 125 that is subtracted and which is the correct one 165 that is added means difference only we have to take so it is 6400 plus 40 that is 6440 now the correct mean we have to correct sum we got now correct mean only we have to take so what we have to write uh, again some of the observation formula not required so we are directly substituting sum of observation divided by number of observation one did, uh, deleted and one added so there is no change in the number of observations zero will cut so what is the answer four only we have to use six one six one so 161 is the correct mean so the correct mean is equal to 161 this question is one of the important type questions so you can see that olympiad and all this type of the questions usually they'll ask the mean of 40 observations is 160 so 160 equal to sum of all observations by 40 from that we have calculated incorrect sum in this only 125 they have calculated so it is incorrect sum only so we have given the adding incorrect method so it is 64 400 is the incorrect sum now for correction what we should do we should uh, subtract the wrong one 6400 minus 125 then the correct actual value to be added so there is no change in the number of observations one deleted one added so there is no change in the number of observation 40 observations are there so 40 observation sum became 6440 so correct mean should be calculated so 6440 by 40 that is equal to 161 today we are winding up this uh, sum based on the mean and a uh, one range question only i have done because range is very easy only difference between the maximum and the uh, minimum values and now mean questions also i had given practice this one tomorrow we have to go uh, deal with the exercise questions